previously we created a views page to list all published articles. Now let's create a block which will display the most recent article and it will only display a single article, not a listing. We don't have to create another view for this block because views lets you group multiple displays into a single view. So to keep things tidy, try and group displays as much as possible. I personally tend to group displays by content type. So this means I would create an articles view which will be responsible for any page or block which lists articles. And this is exactly what we are doing. So with that being said, let's go back to the articles view which we previously created. So to manage views, just go to structure, views, and click on edit in the operations column for the articles view. So to add a new display, click on add in the displays area and then click on block. So here on the left, you can see the two displays, page and block. And we'll need to modify this view so that it displays nicely as a block. And the first thing we'll do is limit the amount of articles which are displayed. So here in the pages section, just click on mini and then check display a specified number of items. And another thing which we'll need to do is under the four drop down, select this block and then click on apply. And then change the items to display to one and then click on apply again. So what we have done is that views allows you to share configuration between multiple displays. Now, if we go to page, you will see that the pager is displaying 10 items, whereas with block, it's only displaying one. So if we scroll down to the preview, you will see that a single article is being displayed in a table. So far, so good. But displaying a table in a block won't look that nice. So let's change how the article is displayed and let's just give it a title and the authored on date. So if we scroll up, click on table in the format section and because we want to modify this just for the block display, select this block from the four dropdown and then select unformatted list and then click on apply and click, click on apply again. Now click on content next to show and this time select fields. This will allow us to select specific fields which will be displayed in the block and then click on apply and just click on apply again. So if you scroll down, you will see the three fields, title, body, and author on. Let's just clean this up so that it will display nicely in a block. So scroll back up and then click on body. And then make sure you select this block from the, from the four dropdown because we need to override the field section. And let's just remove. and then click on title and let's just remove the label and then just click on apply and then also on author date let's just remove the title there as well don't forget to click on save then if we scroll down you'll see that we get a nice compacted article with just the title and the authored on date Okay, now that we have created the view, let's actually add the block to a region. So to do this, just click on structure, block layout, and from this page, you can assign blocks to specific regions. And let's add this block to the sidebar first region. So if you scroll down, click on place block next to sidebar first, and you should see articles, with the category of lists views and then just click on click on place block leave everything as is and then just click on save block reorder it so that it appears above the search and then don't forget to save and then don't forget to click on save blocks at the bottom now if we go to the home page we should see it on the left here you go so here you can see the latest articles block 
on the left displaying the latest article sorted by the author on date.